hear me? Yeah, you can. Uh, I actually wanted to ride out on a Segway, but I didn't want to crush several people in the front row, so we'll leave that. So hello, how's it going? Oh, cool. <laughs> My name's Johnny Murphy. I'm a developer in test, as Ryan said, at Unbents. And uh, if you were at CTA Conf last year, you might recognize me as the big ginger yeti that was manning the swag booth. There I am in all my glory. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, I've gotten my hair cut since then, and they've decided to put me on stage this year. So, so here I am. Anything can happen at CTA. But seriously, this is what I'm here to talk about today. Designing campaigns with control and ease. So I'm going to start off this brief talk by introducing a problem that I think most people in this room may have felt recently. This is your boss. And he wants you to launch a last minute campaign with a landing page to, to rack up some conversions. He's looking for X number of, of sales, leads, and, uh, and conversions. So you know, in order to pull this off, you need to create a big, beautiful landing page with these high res assets, super branded, with uh, logos and icons too. But what you also know is that these high res assets can kill page load speeds. And in your experience, these slow loading pages can equal low conversions. Not good. In fact, conversions fall by 12% for every second a page takes to load. That's a, that's a big number for such a short amount of time. So you know this is a problem. You've been here before. What your boss is asking for is pretty hard to achieve. So you'd make a landing page like this, and it's fine. Although if you, you look closely, you zoom in a bit, or you're on a, a big monitor, it looks a little blurry. Uh, I mean, it loads super fast, but it's, it's pixely. And your boss tells you he doesn't want this representing his brand, especially if you're a Sioux company. Yeah, there's a pun in there about looking sharp or something, but I won't bother. Uh, but yeah, he said it looks kind of rookie. But if you update this landing page to use high-res assets, you could end up with something like this. So I'm going to play this GIF. So this is actually sped up a little bit, but it took about 16 seconds for this landing page with high-res assets to load on a pretty average 3G connection. So there's some potential lost conversions there. So you're left with this annoying choice of beauty versus speed. And yes, I did just learn animations in PowerPoint. That's where that came from. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'd like to warn you all right now, there is an incoming metaphor, so brace yourselves. Here we have a big, beautiful sailboat. Gorgeous to look at, but it's slow. So that's our landing page with the high-res assets. And then we have this ugly bathtub speedboat thing I found on Google Images. That is our pixie landing page. It's slow, oh, sorry, it's fast, but it's horrible to look at. We want to be this big, beautiful sailboat just with jet engines attached to it, so it goes super fast. We want it all. But you're forced to compromise. So we at Unbounce have also felt this pain as marketers. If you haven't figured it out yet, we are a, we're a landing page builder. In fact, this is our builder right here. And uh, we've seen this issue of beauty versus speed a lot. And today I'm going to show you how we decided to fix that in our builder and how our solutions can help your campaigns going forward. So I'm going to go through a few specific challenges around this issue of beauty versus speed. Challenge one, whatever you're selling has to look beautiful. It's true, it does. I read a great quote recently from a guy called Pep Laya from conversionsxl.com. I'm sure a lot of people in this room know who he is. But I think it's, it applies here. So people hardly buy anything without seeing it first. Usually they want to touch it, hold it, and take it for a spin. And you really can't do that online. So to compensate for all that, you need to work twice as hard to make sure your products come alive via excellent photography and graphics. I think that's a great quote and very true. So what we've done at Unbounce to, to aid this is start support for Retina. What is Retina? So that's Apple CEO Tim Cook right there. So Retina, fun fact, I'm sure a lot of people know this as well, uh, is just a marketing term created by Apple for higher res, higher pixel density screens. They're not exclusive to Apple. But with more and more people using these high res screens, it creates a great opportunity to show off your brand or your product in these ridiculously high res, ultra clear images. But targeting these retina screens can be a hassle. 
It usually involves creating different size images and sending them to the correct devices, depending on what size screen the visitor is on. It can be very tedious and annoying. So we've made it extremely easy to deal with Retina images in our builder. Simply just upload your single high-res image, and we take care of the rest. So what we do is we create those three images, three images I was talking about. And again, depending on your visitor's screen size, we'll direct the image to them. For instance, if you have a MacBook Pro or an iPhone X or a Google Pixel, you'll get the big, beautiful high-res image. Smaller phone will get the smaller one and everything in between. So here we have, uh, it's going to show you the three ticks in the corner here. This is our builder again. That's a high-res image. Just, that just means that, yes, it is a retina image, and it's enabled. Simple as that. Super easy for a great result. Challenge two, logos and icons. We have a few Canadian and BC brands here. A&W Canada being my favorite. If you haven't tried their fries yet, I recommend it. It's fantastic. Woo! They're not paying me, I promise. I wish they were in fries. So yeah, we've all been here. We're adding logos and icons to our landing page. And it's, you're trying to stretch it, but it just won't stretch. And it goes kind of a bit blurry, and it doesn't look great. This is your brand. It's got to look polished. So you go back and forth with your designer to get the different size images. And that can slow things down a bit. So what we've done is provided support for SVG images. images. For those who don't know, SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. It's basically like the one size fits all of the image world. It's an image made from code that no matter how big or small you make it, I'll show you in a sec, uh, it will never lose quality or clarity at all. So you'll save time. I think more and more people should be using these SVGs. So this is the exact same landing page, same logo, and you're going to see that I can go much bigger and smaller, and it doesn't lose any quality or get pixely at all. So we've recently added that into our builder. It's also very small image sizes, so that's a plus for page load speed too. Challenge three, time and resources. So sometimes you don't have the time or resources to source your own high quality, relevant images for your landing page. You could turn to Google, but then you have to worry about copyright and rightful use. Uh, you could turn to stock photo libraries, but they're just that. They're, they're stock photos. They're easy to spot from a mile away. They're often cheesy and like weirdly posed. Exhibit A. So I didn't even need to add the cheesy effect to that. It was cheesy enough already. Just chilling in the office, playing on your skateboard. So we've integrated with a, a company called Unsplash. Pure coincidence about the name. It does sound similar to ours, and it does make us like them a little bit more. But what is Unsplash? They're a library of over 550,000 do-whatever-you-want free images brought to you by the most generous community of photographers ever. They're not paying me either, I swear. So we've integrated Unsplash into our builder. So now you don't even have to leave the builder to find these relevant, stylish, high-quality images. So I'm going to show you a quick video of me adding a background to this travel guide landing page. So I'm just going to search for British Columbia, because you know I live here. I like this one. And then boom, just like that, it's the background of my travel guide landing page. Super easy again for a great result. And I think that's pretty, I'm not a designer, and I think that's pretty good, if you say so myself. So challenge four, page load speeds. These solutions are great. Everyone's loving these big, beautiful images. But what about the page load speed? That uh, conversion stat I said before, that's still playing on your mind. Conversions, they fall by 12% for every second a page takes a load. Surely the, all these high-res assets you've just added to your page are going to affect page speed dramatically. Yay for image compression. No one ever says that, ever. <laughs> it's a great thing. So this image here, so we've built Im image compression into our builder. This image here I actually got from Unsplash. It went from six, I just thought it looked nice, that's why I chose the wedding. Six megabytes down to 300 KB without losing any noticeable quality at all. So again, super easy, great result. Smaller images, faster loading pages. So there you have it. You've managed to create a fantastic looking landing page with control and ease. And your boss is kind of happy-ish. It's like, yeah, cool. With retina images, image compression, SVGs, and our new integration with Unsplash without having to sacrifice page load speed at all. Yes, there it is. Metaphor, it's back.
so you'll never have to compromise between page speed and beauty again. And yes, that is a Mercedes parked on top of a yacht. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. Have a great practice.